In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the stick concept in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? Cody here. Wanted to bring you a video on the stick concept. Now, if you want to check out our entire air raid offense, stick is an air raid passing concept. You can get that entire offensive ebook by joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks. The link is going to be down in the description. So what makes stick so good? It's actually a quick passing concept. If you take a look over here, you're going to see the Y stick play. Um, I believe that stick is really good because it creates triangles in the passing game. We're going to create a triangle read for our uh, our quarterback and I'm going to show you in this video how to run the stick concept from multiple formations um, whether it be compression whether it be spread it doesn't really matter you're going to be able to have a lot of a lot of success with this play so again why stick if you just take it for what it is it's a very quick passing concept and it can sometimes be tethered with a option route where that route can run a stick route or it can actually run a little five yard out route we're going to teach it today primarily around the stick piece of this play or the stick route so again you could do this out of any formation but i'm going to show it to you first out of a spread type of set and then we're going to go over how to do it out of other sets that you might be a little bit more familiar with like bunch or tight or anything like that now literally all you need for this is some kind of either flat route why sale is the perfect play to run stick off of um, because again it's a quick game concept now the setup for this is really simple we're just going to put that uh, tight end on a stick route and then on the left side, you have a couple of different options of what you can do behind this. One of the things that I like to do is simply taking that backside player and putting him on a slant. Another actual really good play to do is to take this and basically create a variation of levels where we can have that post route. It's a little bit deeper than a slant. It's going to kind of stretch the defense a little bit more vertically than a slant would. And then on this backside, you can kind of do some kind of backside curl, backside little baby in route, something like that. Typically, stick can also actually be ran something like this, where you have a slant flat concept on backside. The backside concept is really kind of up to you. Um, I've also seen you know variations of stick where we basically did you know whether it be a quick slant here or a quick post here, something like this. But really, the core concept is on the right side. Now, the player that we're going to be reading whenever we run this play is we're looking solely at this player right here. If this player sits on the stick route, then we're going to look to try to hit the running back. If that player runs to the running back route, then we're going to try to hit the stick route. Fairly simple read. Um, I think it works best if you run this concept to the wide side. You can make an argument that it's good on either hash, and it is. It's good on either hash. But what you're going to see here, he sticks in, so we're going to throw the ball to the running back, try to get out there and break a tackle. Now, the way Madden works, you might want to go ahead and take that running back and put him on an out route, just because that out route is going to be a little bit better at separation against man now um, the other thing about the stick route that you can do and this is kind of back to the why I don't want to turn stick into Y sail so again I really value this hitch and I love the backside post okay um, because if it is man coverage sticks not the best man beater but what you have is you have that route specifically that's really effective against man that's why I love to have that backside post um, and then really something else on this backside that you could do, you could do a C route, backside C route. This is a great concept right here. It's very simple. Um, again, that backside, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. Um, you could do a slant flat, which I love slant flat concepts. I think that slants are so good this year um, at getting some decent separation against man to man. Now where stick really, really, I think thrives is its ability to beat the blitz. It's a quick game concept for a reason. So if you're in any kind of blitzing situation, you're going to notice like any kind of standard five man pressure this route to the running back has a big significant advantage off the snap as you can see right there because they're not in a drop eight coverage stick is designed to beat the blitz um, and it's designed to you know again if you're going to have time then yeah we can work this we can work some other things into this but really it's a quick you're, the ball is supposed to be out super quick it's supposed to either go to the tight end or the running back now you do have that outside receiver running a, a runoff route or a fade um you can hit that. That's kind of a peak. Um, you know, you're just going to look, say, okay, can I throw this over the top, right? So, like, right here, I say, okay, I've got maybe a step, so I'm going to try to throw that. If I don't have a step, I'm not going to throw it. One of the abilities that I did want to recommend, and we're going to show it by flipping this play, uh, one of the abilities that I did want to recommend to you is short out elite for this because if you get press man and they don't have any safety help over the top and you have the short out elite ability, Pretty much every single time, they're going to burn man coverage over the top, as you can see right here. Now, again, if you wanted to just put a standard little streak route 
Um, and we'll actually run stick a little different like this basically. And then like I said, on the back side, you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, but if you wanted to run it like this, you'll see here a little bit more clearly that short out elite ability is going to light up and beat press man. So now they have to put themselves in a position where are you going to, you know, are you going to back your coverage off? So in the situation where, you know, maybe they back their coverage off on that outside guy, then what we're able to do is we can start to run other variations off of this. So we could run a C route. It's still going to clear the vertical space like it's supposed to against zone. But now you've given yourself an option, um, you know, against man. Now, again, the C route's better to the left side, but you get the idea. Another thing you could do if you have outside apprentice, throw them on a little post route. This is a great concept because, again, everything underneath is underneath, right? So you don't have to necessarily be that concerned with your your deep fade runoff route because you're working the backside concepts right so that's another thing now what about drop eight zone coverage okay and then we'll get to zone blitzes in a second drop eight zone coverage fairly similar so what you're going to see here um, i can throw that stick right in that little area especially if their user you got to read it's really a read on the user so like let's say they're in you know cover four and they're going to play like this if that hook curl is going to sit in the middle of the field, then this is a little bit riskier. As you can see right there, you saw how he initially jerked to the right. If he initially does that jerk in action um, to the right, this is where I'd love to have either a backside post with that whip. Um, you know, something simple like this, I think is so hard to guard um, on the backside. Really what you do backside is really gonna help against drop eight coverage. And then what you do play side is really more so in my opinion um, to attack the pressure. Just because of the way zones play in Madden, you have to be prepared to attack that stuff. So you'll see here, okay, that's taken away, but look at my backside in route. My backside in route, I can free form with a pass lead down and I'm able to hit it against the defense. Now, I kinda wanna weave all this together and show you how to run the stick concept out of other formations, um, such as, uh, see, I actually have kind of, I think I'm using the Jets playbook right now. I'm working on some stuff out of the Jets formation. Um, so we'll show it to you at a gun tight. Gun tight is a great, um, you know, the, here we go, slot stick. So we have the stick play. So as you can see here, we have the stick concept. So how are we gonna run this? Well, we're gonna streak CD Lamb. We're gonna flat our running back. And what I would recommend is to go ahead and motion CD Lamb outside. Now, what again, what you do on the backside is up to you. So what I like to do is have at least one of those players running that post route over the top. So now I've got my stick reads over the middle. And then what this is really good for is any kind of double flat defense that you might face. So, you know, a lot of you guys, if you're throwing like deep flooding concepts to the outside, this becomes a really valuable play because what you're going to notice here is now the whole middle of the field is wide open for these little stick routes to be very effective, as you can see. So the running backs route is really designed to pull these routes out of the uh, out of the middle of the field. And that's one of the things that I think makes, you know, the stick play so good is that it can not only beat... Um, it, it, it just does really good if they don't have yellow zones on the field, right? It's a middle of the field, basic, you know, kind of attacking concept. Now, another thing that you could do with this is let's say we wanted to, you know, kind of change it up a little bit. We can motion Samuel across and then we can run him on the streak, right? So it looks something like this. And, you know, again, the idea is we're just attacking the middle of the field. That's the biggest thing with stick is it does a really good job at attacking the middle of the field, which is also going to allow it to do a really good job. This is one of the most popular ways people like to defend gun tight. They're going to basically play a five-man pressure game, and they're going to try to take away your flat games. This is very good for defending the play bench, which a lot of us probably know uh, very well. So, again, you're going to run your stick play just like this. And what you're going to notice is, okay, they go out. I'm throwing right to that little hitch right there. Easy read, easy money. So this is a great way uh, to be able to attack any kind of blitzing defenses. Quick game, stick is a quick game concept and one of the best that you're going to find. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get better at Madden, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. Get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Also, let me know what you thought of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button down below. Thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video.